All right, along with the fuel button, we are going to go ahead and drill out this little ball bearing. Uh, some of them are lead, some are plastic, some are steel. It really depended, I guess, on what they felt like putting in there that day. Uh, so I'm told to just drill, drill it out with a small bit, uh, then hook it with a pick and it'll pull out. I'm going to find out. Unfortunately, I won't be able to video while I'm drilling, but I will be able to report on how I got it out when I'm all done. All right. All right, so this segment we're going to call Lessons Learned. Uh, I was told just, hey, drill a small hole through there, hook that ball with your pick, pull it out. Well, I had several drill bits break. Uh, evidenced by when it broke and I poked through here, broke and I poked through here. Yeah. Uh, lessons learned. Do this in a drill press. Do it with brand new drill bits. Uh, I went through a lot of drill oil. Um, I think five or six small drill bits. What finally got it out was I threw a bit in my cordless drill. That's the exact same size as the big hole and that's what it took to finally get that darn thing out. But as you can see, right down in the hole here, sorry, looking through the camera again, is a flathead screw. You just turn, put this in, and you'll turn it counterclockwise. And as you do that, what you're doing, oh yes, I even broke a pick, is there's a needle valve down in there. And as you screw this counterclockwise, it's just like a regular bolt, it's pulling it back. All right, that's a dramatic effect, but it pulls it back ever so slightly and allows more fuel to flow through. Here's your gear pump, here's your pressure regulator. So it all flows through then here, and that needle says, yes, I will allow more fuel through, and then on up to your injectors. So I hope this helps. This job here actually took longer to do than to change a button. Thank God this is my uh, scrap pump that I am not too terribly worried about ever needing. So that's it for now, folks.